We are at a moment where the power relations between the sort of power dynamics between Turkey and EU has shifted considerably to the advantage of the Turkish government. At a time when we have um, a very problematic government in Turkey, um, at a time when um, we have an authoritarian um, government which promises to uh, undermine democracy even further um, and use um, its sort of upper hand in its relations with Turkey, with EU to its political advantage. Um, because of the EU's interest in um, curtailing the refugee flow and its alleged dependence on um, the Turkish government for this, the EU really has sort of weakened its, its, its hand in a way and has undermined its own leverage against um, Turkey in terms of protection of democracy and human rights. So we're really at a very low point. In the short term, um, the best case scenario, I think, would be a real critical European engagement, which is based on European principles and norms, rather than short-term geostrategic interests. Um, if Europe could be its old good self um, and uphold um, principle engagement vis-à-vis -vis Turkey, I think it would have um, much more leverage in inducing political, positive political change. The rest, I mean, in terms of developments in Turkey, that's going to take um, a while. But we do, we definitely, I, mean, I cannot emphasize this enough, we do need a stronger European engagement based on principles.